How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. Notre Dame Catholic 90, I think you're on to something, dude. Maybe that intro does help the Irish play better. I don't know, but got the job done tonight, baby. 30 to 13, Notre Dame over Oklahoma in Norman on their own turf. Unfreaking believable. Once again, we shocked the nation tonight. Ugh, I listen. I'm going to tell you guys one thing right now. I know I may come off as incoherent. I may come off as a crazed lunatic. But you know what? I don't care what anybody thinks right now. I don't give a damn. I am so freaking happy right now that I don't. I don't care how I'm perceived at this point. I, all I know is this, I'm so proud of, to be a Fighting Irish fan right now. I'm so proud of this Fighting Irish football team. They did an amazing job tonight. They came through and rose to the occasion in, in, you know, in a hostile environment against a very good football team. They come out with a 17-point with a victory. Unfreaking believable. They, you know, this was said by, I, think, I believe it was Brett Musburger who said this. I think Notre Dame made everyone a believer tonight. <laughs> I'm so pr I'm so proud of this team. They are doing unbelievable, uh, unbelievably well, fighting against all the odds, just like the just like the fight song says, pretty much. I mean, I'll, I got to slow down here a minute first. Um, you know, I, I don't want anyone to think that I'm coming off as an you know as an arrogant snob, but so I got I want to do what I usually do after every game, and that's tip my hat off to our opponents, the Oklahoma Sooners. Uh, my goodness, uh, whew. you know, I give you guys nothing but props. You guys are one hell of a program. You have a damn, a damn tough football team, and, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of, uh, fight, heart, and guts left out in that field tonight, and, uh, you know, my hat's off to you guys, and, you know, to any Sooner fan who's watching this, you know, I, I give you guys props, and Oni Kuno, you in particular, man. Um, I caught your crow video earlier, and dude, uh, mad props and respect to you. I, I I've said that already in my in my preview, and trust me, man. You know I I've had D crow plenty of times, and it's not easy. But you know what? You you manned up. You did it, and you know nothing but respect from me to you. And you know like like we've we like we've each pointed out a couple times already. You and I go back three years from when we both started on here, and uh, you know what? I actually respect you more than I do some certain Notre Dame fans out there. But and I, I know I'm not talking about any Notre Dame video maker on here. I'm talking about some some me certain message boards, it, it, message board idiots from a certain website out there. But screw those guys. That's not important. Um, so yeah, once again, my uh, my respects and props to you, Odi Kuno. Um, now, as far as the game goes, oh, where to start? I think the first thing I got to point out is, as usual, the defense. They came through in the clutch big time. Um, you know, Manti Teo in particular, another week, another big play on him. A couple big plays, actually. You know, had, he had the nice sack on Landry Jones, which, which I'm sure Landry will be feeling that tomorrow morning, or, well, technically today, because it is about 2.30 in the morning here in Illinois. And, you know, that's the thing, guys. It, it may be 2.30 in the morning as I make this video, but... The game's been over for a while, but I still have those chills of excitement running down the back of my spine. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's just, I think just because, of the, you know, Notre Dame, we haven't been in this in this position in so long. It's just, you know, you, you start to forget what that feeling's like, and then when it comes back, holy cow. You know, you want to you wanna keep celebrating, you know? But, uh, now Manti, you know, he had the big sack on Landry Jones. He had the interception that was a, a, a crucial play for us in the fourth quarter that really... That I mean, really turned the tide of the game. That pretty much locked it up for us. And you know, I don't know if he's going to win the Heisman, but he definitely deserves to be at least be in New York. And he deserves it. You know, he's he is what the definition of a true leader is, and that's what he does for for this uh, for this Notre Dame defense and the team as a whole. But also, an, another really uh, a really uh, Oh, how, what's the best way to describe this? Um, a, a satisfaction moment and a really, a really splendid moment to see is Everett Golson. Tonight was the night that we really saw him mature and grow up right in front of our eyes. 
you know, he looked, he, I mean, he was making mistakes out there still, yes, that is true, but he looked like a leader out there tonight, he was, he was uh, getting the job done, both with his legs and his arm, and, you know, he had the, ru the one rushing touchdown from the goal line in the fourth quarter, and just what can I say about him, he had a, a damn good game out there, and he, that was his defining moment, and, you know, if, if he can only get better, look out for this kid in the future. I mean, you know, as I've said all season long, a, a first-time starting quarterback, it's going to take some time to, you know, get used to the speed of the game and, you know, work out certain kinks and all that. But he made some, uh, he made a giant stride tonight, and uh, I think only the, the sky is the limit with Everett Golson. You know, he really, really matured out there tonight. But, you know, he's still making certain mistakes, like, you know, missing wide-open guys and, He's got to learn to tuck the ball in, but I think uh, I think that those are things that he can work on. It it didn't hurt us tonight, but still got to be careful though. Uh, but regardless, he had a great game, great game tonight, and he, and he looked like a leader out there. The potential just unbelievable with him. And then on top of that, the running game tonight was just uh, once again superb. You know, Sierra Wood had the the 60, 62 yard touchdown run early in the game that really in my opinion, changed the momentum of the game. And then Theo Riddick running hard as usual. Well, week in and week out, he had the late touchdown to really seal the deal. And, um, you know, Oni Kuno, I know you mentioned that in your video about, uh, you know, I kind of running up the score a little bit. But like you said, uh, what the heck? You know, we might as well play it safe and put really put it away, you know. But uh, just uh, everything, everything was in sync tonight. I mean, some mistakes that were made, but, hey, what can you do when you know when you're playing a, a really tough team in Oklahoma? You know, not everything is going to be perfect, but everything was, was was pretty consistent tonight. And just overall as a team, we did one hell of a job. And I'll tell you one thing, a little special note: Chris Brown, when he had that big 50-yard catch late in the game that led to the go-ahead touchdown, I have been waiting all season for that. You know, they, they've tried to hook up a couple times before that, and it was always. It was always overthrown or short or whatever, but finally, I've been waiting to see him in action because he's he has the speed and the, the deep threat. So it was it was fun to see that that just unfinally pay off for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, really, you know, not not too many negatives I can say about this game. I mean, you know, we came out there with the W. That's the only thing that matters, and this is a team that is only getting better. And you know, the only thing else that I can really say about this game is uh, I was reading a uh, an article on BleacherReport.com a couple days ago before this game, and it's it's basically said that if we were to beat Oklahoma, it wouldn't be it would it would not be our defining moment. Well, you know something, I kind of agree with that because this is not our defining moment. However, this is a big statement, that's for sure. Because the the, the one thing that's going to define us is how we finish this season, because you know. Okay, we got through the first eight games. We got past a real tough test tonight in Oklahoma. Came out of Norman with a W. But we still have, you know, four very important games to play yet. And I know it's easy, you know, as a being, being a former football player, and but, but just being a player and even a fan, you know, it's easy to, you know, see the next three games in our schedule in Pittsburgh, Boston College, and Wake Forest and think, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going we're gonna to cruise into, uh, through those games into the USC game. That is the biggest mistake a football team or even a fo football fans in general can do. You never want to look any any opponent over. You don't want to look past them because um, that's what that's what'll uh, beat you if, you if you do. But um, so yeah, just we gotta continue to take this season one week at a time and just play every game like it's the, like we're playing for the national championship. You know, because we in a, way, in a sense we are. But um. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have much else left to say in this video, but I do want to point out one thing. And this is not to Sooner fans in particular. Just just any fan of any team out there, uh, critics, Notre Dame haters. You know, I hear all week about this game, about how you say that Notre Dame had no shot or no no chance in hell to win against Oklahoma at, uh, at Oklahoma on their turf. Um, that, that we were going to get exposed, that we were going to just get dominated, lose by six or seven touchdowns, whatever. 
And the whole season that has been the trend with you idiot Notre Dame haters. The people that'll... Here's an idea of what I'm talking about. The season first gets underway, and all the haters take a look at our schedule, and they say, oh, yeah, Notre Dame will be... Notre Dame's going to get their... their uh, They'll get the crap kicked out of them on a weekly basis. They'll be lucky if they finish 500. So it goes from that to now we actually start winning some games. And we win our first eight of the season. Now it all turns into this, this uh, fiasco of, oh, well, Notre Dame was playing a bunch of, uh, of overrated teams, blah, blah, blah. It's all those haters that keep saying that crap. Shut the hell up. Okay, it gets old. All these excuses that you make get old. Just accept the fact that Notre Dame is finally relevant again and finally legit. Because they are. Are you guys going to start calling Oklahoma overrated too now? I mean, come on. Give me a freaking break. Okay, you know, maybe maybe some teams that we played that were once ranked, like Michigan or Michigan State, maybe they're not ranked anymore. But the fact is, they were ranked when we played them. And it ever, did it ever occur to you that maybe once we beat them, maybe that changed the course of their season? Hmm? You know, it's just an idea. It's not a for sure thing, but it's possible. But I'm saying is, when we earn respect, give it to us. When we've clearly earned it. And acknowledge the fact that, hey, you know what? I can hate Notre Dame all I want. I don't like them. I never will. But you know what? They got a damn good football team, and they're starting to show it. They're becoming relevant again. So all you haters that like to uh, make excuses and just, uh, you know, be two-faced and whatnot, shove it, okay? Up yours. Up yours. Notre Dame is back. Just accept it. So with that, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. Um, to co a couple quick updates before I wrap this up. Uh, my buddy Brandon, who I mentioned in the the preview uh, video for this game. He was at Norman this, uh, for the game this evening. Uh, he's going to have some pictures, and uh, I wanted to get this game or this video done, so I um, didn't have a chance to post them yet. But uh, once uh, he sends me those pics, I'll have a video out showing you uh, his experience in Norman from whatever pictures he does send me. And uh, also, if, as far as the Ireland video goes, I'm shooting to have that released on this coming Wednesday. It's coming along nicely. I just have a few uh, a few video and audio clips to add in, and then I'll be done. So look for that this Wednesday. So with that, guys, big win for the Irish tonight. We are now in the driver's seat. Go Irish!